Hello students, welcome you all back to my channel Khan's Commerce Tutorial. I'm Hasham Ali Khan again. So now we are in the subject Business Statistics 2. Already I have prepared the videos on theoretical distribution in which I have explained, we have solved so many problems on binomial distribution, Poisson distribution and normal distribution. Already I have prepared the video on uh, probability, Bayes' theorem. And one more video I have prepared for permutation and combination. So if you have not watched those videos, please go to the playlist of my channel, select Business Statistics 2, then you will get all these uh, topics videos. Now I am going to start the next uh, topic that is uh, Regression Analysis. This Regression Analysis I am going to start now. And this regression analysis is not a tough topic just like a probability or binomial distribution, Poisson or normal distribution. It's a very common topic easily you can understand. But many students, sorry to say, many students think that statistics is a subject only of solving the problem. Many students have the idea that only solving the problem is enough. Just we must know uh, what is the formula, how to prepare the table, how to I mean uh, substitute the values in the formula, how to get the answer. But sorry, that is not the right way of acquiring the education, acquiring the knowledge. The purpose of the education is to get the knowledge, not simply to pass the examination. So what I want to say is before solving the problem, you must listen the theory. What is this? What is the subject? What is this topic? why it is there, why it is included in this subject and what is the practical utility of this subject, what is the significance of this subject, advantages, limitation of this subject, then only you should go to the problems, right? That is the right way of getting the education from my point of view, I think so. So most of the students will may agree or may not agree, but it's a fact. So before starting the problem, Please listen carefully till the end. Then we'll solve the problems. Now regression analysis. First we are going to discuss about the meaning of the term regression analysis. See, regression, literal meaning of the term regression is moving back, going back. But technically, regression analysis is a statistical technique which is concerned with expressing the functional relationship between two or more variables. Functional relationship between two two or more variables. Already in business statistics one we have done the topic called correlation. That is also related to regression only. So in correlation we have seen it's a statistical technique of expressing finding out whether relationship is there or not between two variables. Two or more variables. Here regression analysis will give you functional relationship or average relationship between two variables. There is no cause and effect relationship in correlation analysis, but in regression analysis, we are going to find or we are going to apply the cause and effect relationship between two or more variables. So simply regression analysis is a statistical technique of expressing functional relationship between two variables so that we can be able to predict to one variable for a given value of the other variable. That is the main purpose. Simple example I'll give you. There are many cases where the variables will have some relationship. Example, advertisement and sales. The two variables, advertisement and sales, are related to each other. Now everybody knows when we give more advertisement, the sales will may increase. <clears throat> sales may increase. So by giving less advertisement, our sales will be less low. So there is some relationship. But we cannot be able to predict. We cannot be able to predict the sales for a given level for a given amount of advertisement so this regression analysis will solve the problem of predicting predicting one variable for a given value of the other variable that is regression analysis and it is having much practical utility because it is concerned with prediction prediction forecasting management's main function is planning and planning requires some prediction or forecasting and in that case this regression analysis will be widely used for prediction purpose. Now, simple and multiple regression. Broadly, we classify the regression analysis into two types like simple or multiple. Simple regression is concerned with studying the relationship between two variables only. 
when we consider only two variables then it is called simple regression for example we want to find out uh, the sales and advertisement the relationship between sales and advertisement we are concerned only with two variables it is called simple regression we can say the sales are dependent on advertisement on advertisement similarly demand demand is dependent on price according, according to economic law there is a law of demand in that case the sales the demand depends on the price higher the price lower will be the demand lower the price higher will be the demand that means both are related to one another so only two variables if we consider then it is called simple model, simple regression when when more than two variables are considered at a time it is called multiple regression example the demand does not depend only on price the demand will depend apart from price the income of the people the competition in the market etc so many variables are there so many variables similarly agricultural production and rainfall there is relationship but do you think that agricultural production solely depends on rainfall apart from rainfall other factors will also affect the agricultural production so if we consider more than two variables it will be called multiple regression now importance or significance of regression if we compare correlation and regression regression has much more practical utility it is widely used in many cases where we want to predict the value of one variable given the value of the other variable so always two variables will be there one variable is dependent variable other variable is independent variable so we are going to calculate the dependent variable for a given value of the independent variable example in case of rainfall and agricultural production the rainfall is independent whereas agricultural production is dependent on rainfall similarly in case of advertisement and sales sales are dependent and advertisement is independent it is in our hands how much we have to give how much we have to spend on advertisement we can decide the amount to be spent on advertisement but sales will depend on advertisement so always two variables one dependent variable one independent variable will be there in regression analysis the practical utility it's very high because most of the economic problems requires cause and effect relationship most of the economic uh, issues or economic cases requires cause and effect relationship so wherever cause and effect relationship is there we apply regression analysis simple example in case of a businessman a businessman has to predict predict about the production consumption profit income investment similarly government the government has to make the prediction or planning for the next future years in that case prediction is required so wherever prediction or forecasting is required we can conveniently apply regression analysis to predict the variables next is limitations we don't have only advantages this regression analysis will also suffer from some limitations the limitation says that always there will be linear relationship between these two variables between two or more variables but it may not so happen every time there may be non linear relationship in the same way the functional relationship will be static constant but it may not be true many times the functional relationship or average relationship will change from time to time so some limitations are there of this regression analysis next come differences between correlation and regression there are many similarities as well as, well as differences between correlation and regression in correlation we simply find out whether relationship is there or not what is the nature of relationship what is the degree of relationship nature of relationship means we are finding out whether there is positive relationship or negative relationship degree of relationship whether it is a strong high degree relationship or low degree relationship but there is no cause and effect relationship in correlation so the utility the advantage or usefulness of this correlation is limited we cannot make any prediction in correlation correlation value simply ranges from minus 1 to plus 1 that's it 
so only we can be able to get the value and the sign but in case of regression we can be able to predict one variable given the value of the other variable so many differences are there between correlation and regression regression is much more important practical than correlation then properties of regression coefficient first of all regression coefficient this is the change in the value of one variable for a unit change in the value of the other variable regression coefficient it is called what is the average change in one variable for a unit change in the other variable for example if we change one unit in advertisement how many unit change in sales this is called regression coefficient so we have two regression coefficient bxy and byx bxy is called the regression coefficient of x on y what is x on y i'll explain now and byx is the regression coefficient of y on x now see here regression analysis consists of two variables one variable is dependent variable other variable is independent variable we can treat suppose we are having two variables x and y so we can treat x as dependent and y as independent or x as independent y as dependent any one we can treat it as uh, dependent variable and the other independent variable so we have two regression lines one is called regression line of x on y regression line of y on x what is regression line it's a graphic relationship graphic presentation of the relationship graphic presentation of the relationship between two variables when we put the data on a graph paper we'll get a straight line denoting the average relationship between the two variables so two regression lines are there regression line of x on y and regression line of y on x regression line x on y is used to predict x for a given value of y so x on y will be used to predict x for any given value of y and y on x will be used to predict y for a given value of x for a given value of x so two regression lines are there regression equations the regression equations are the algebraic presentation of regression lines ये रिग्रेशन लाइंस को जो ग्राफिकल प्रेजेंटेशन कर रहे हैं वो ग्राफिक्स के बजाय हम अल्जेब्रिक इक्वेशन में अगर डालेंगे तो दैट विल बी कॉल्ड रिग्रेशन इक्वेशन द पर्पस ऑफ बोथ आर सेम दिस इज लाइंस आर ग्राफिकल लाइंस वेयर एज रिग्रेशन इक्वेशंस आर अल्जेब्रिक इक्वेशंस बाय यूजिंग मैथमेटिकल फंक्शनल रिलेशनशिप वी कैन मेक रिग्रेशन इक्वेशंस जस्ट लाइक वी हैव टू रिग्रेशन लाइंस वी विल हैव टू रिग्रेशन इक्वेशंस one regression equation is x on y and the other regression equation is y on x right now regression coefficient just now i told you regression coefficient means the number of units change in one variable due to a unit change in the other variable so before making the regression equation before making the regression equation you must know you must know how to calculate regression coefficient तो पहले आपको रिग्रेशन कोएफिशिएंट मालूम करना उसके बाद इजीली वी कैन फाइंड आउट द रिग्रेशन इक्वेशंस राइट तो रिग्रेशन कोएफिशिएंट मालूम करने के फार्मूले से फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड आउट रिग्रेशन कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ x ऑन y रिग्रेशन कोएफिशिएंट ऑफ x ऑन y इट विल बी डिनोटेड एज bxy b small x small y bxy दिस रिप्रेजेंट्स regression coefficient of x on y is equal to r r is the standard symbol for correlation coefficient it's a symbol of correlation coefficient so r into sigma x by sigma y standard deviation of x divided by standard deviation of y so if in the problem correlation is given standard deviation of x series and standard deviation of y series is given then we apply this formula to get bxy right now if r value and standard deviations are not given in the problem only single values are given x values are given y values are given and we have to find out the regression coefficient then the formula will be 
summation small x y divided by summation y square summation x y divided by summation y square and this small formula will give you bx y तो प्रॉब्लम के ऊपर डिपेंड कर रहा प्रॉब्लम में जैसा इंफॉर्मेशन देंगा वैसा फॉर्मूला हम अप्लाई करेंगे अगर प्रॉब्लम में r का वैल्यू स्मॉल r स्टैट डिविजन्स आर गिवन वी अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला इफ इन द प्रॉब्लम r वैल्यू स्टैट डिविजन्स आर नॉट गिवन बट इंडिविजुअल वैल्यूज आर गिवन फिगर्स आर गिवन देन वी अप्लाई दिस फॉर्मूला टू फाइंड आउट bx y बट दिस फॉर्मूला विल बी अप्लाइड व्हेन डेविएशंस आर टेकन फ्रॉम एक्चुअल मीन तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द मीन वैल्यू If the mean value is in a whole number, then we take the deviation from actual mean and we apply this one. But mean always a whole number ana zaruri nahi hai. Many a time you will calculate the mean and you will get fraction. You will get the mean in points. Then we will take the assumed mean. We will take the deviations from assumed mean. So pahle mean manu karenge. Agar mean whole number me hai, to we will take the deviations from actual mean and we apply this one. अगर मीन का वैल्यू फ्रैक्शन में आ रहा है तो विल टेक द एज्यूम्ड मीन एंड टेक द डिविएशंस फ्रॉम एज्यूम मीन जब एज्यूम मीन से डिविएशंस लेंगे तो फार्मूला विल बी दिस वन बी एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू सममेशन डी एक्स डी वाई माइनस सममेशन डी एक्स इनटू सममेशन डी वाई बाय एन ये न्यूमरेटर है दिस इज द न्यूमरेटर एंड डिनोमिनेटर सममेशन डी वाई स्क्वायर माइनस सममेशन डी वाई होल स्क्वायर बाय एन The above formula is used when deviations are taken from assumed mean. So if the deviations are taken from assumed mean, this one. If the deviations are taken from actual mean, this one. And when r value and sigma x sigma y is given, this one. So these are the formulas given for regression coefficient of x on y. Similarly, regression coefficient of y on x. Just now we have calculated x on y. No, y of x. Similar formula. Slide different. B y x. B y x means regression coefficient of y on x. B x y का मतलब regression coefficient of x on y. X on y है तो b b x y है. Y on x है तो b y x is equal to r into sigma y by sigma x. तो compare it and see what is the difference. Here when we are calculating b x y, first value is x, so numerator is x. When the first value is x, numerator is x. When we, the first letter is y, the numerator is y. That you have to remember. B x y is equal to r into sigma x by sigma y. यहाँ पर x है तो यहाँ पर भी numerator में x में. यहाँ पर first वो y है तो numerator में भी y. R into sigma y by sigma x. That's it. This is the regression coefficient of y on x. Similarly, b y x. b y x is equal to summation x y divided by summation x square. Now you compare it. The numerator is same. b x y के लिए और b y x के लिए numerator दोनों में same है. Summation x y here also summation x y, but the denominator is different. Here x y. डिनोमिनेटर यहां पर फर्स्ट वन एक्स है सी केयरफुली फर्स्ट इज एक्स तो डिनोमिनेटर वी शुड टेक वाई व्हेन वी आर हैविंग एक्स डिनोमिनेटर यू शुड टेक वाई हियर वी आर हैविंग वाई सो डिनोमिनेटर विल टेक एक्स ऑपोजिट दैट वे यू कैन रिमेंबर द न्यूमरेटर विल बी सेम सममेशन एक्स वाई सममेशन एक्स वाई न्यूमरेटर इज सेम डिनोमिनेटर y x रहा तो y स्क्वायर लेंगे y रहा तो x स्क्वायर लेंगे दैट इज अ डिफरेंस राइट नाउ वी कंटिन्यू सो नाउ सी हियर व्हेन वी आर कैलकुलेटिंग b x y तो फर्स्ट वर्ड फर्स्ट अल्फाबेट इज x तो डिनोमिनेटर वी आर गोइंग टू टेक y हियर इट इज x डिनोमिनेटर y हियर इट इज y सो डिनोमिनेटर वी आर टेकिंग x तो सममेशन x y न्यूमरेटर विल रिमेन सेम डिनोमिनेटर विल बी ऑपोजिट एक्स वाई अगर रहेगा तो डिनोमिनेटर वाई स्क्वायर वाई एक्स रहेगा तो डिनोमिनेटर एक्स स्क्वायर दिस फॉर्मूला विल बी अप्लाइड व्हेन द वी टेक द डिविएशंस फ्रॉम एक्चुअल मीन राइट सिमिलरली व्हेन वी टेक द डिविएशंस फ्रॉम अज्यूम्ड मीन मीन कैलकुलेट करेंगे फ्रैक्शन में आ रहा है तो अज्यूम मीन लेंगे अज्यूम मीन से डिविएशंस लेंगे तो फिर लॉन्ग फार्मूला न्यूमरेटर विल रिमेन सेम सममेशन dx dy माइनस सममेशन dx इनटू सममेशन dy बाय n सेम थिंग सममेशन dx dy माइनस Summation dx into summation dy by n. 
डिनोमिनेटर विल बी ऑपोजिट यहां पर बी एक्स वाई वेन वी टेकन बी एक्स वाई डिनोमिनेटर इज वाई स्क्वायर Summation dy square minus summation dy whole square by n. Here also, when we take b y x, b y x अगर रहेगा तो इसका opposite लेंगे x. b y x रहा तो denominator में summation d x square minus summation d x whole square by n. When deviations are taken from assumed mean, so in this way we calculate regression coefficients. After calculating regression coefficient, we'll calculate regression equation of x on y. x on y के लिए formula x minus x bar is equal to b x y into y minus y bar. This is called regression equation of x on y. So when we apply this x and y, when we want to predict x given the value of y, so ये regression equation x on y कब apply करेंगे जब हमको x मालूम करना है और y का value दे दिया, right? Similarly, regression equation of y on x. This will be applied to predict to y when the value of x is given. So formula is y minus y bar is equal to b y x x minus x bar, where x bar and y bar are the actual mean. Chhaa deviations assumed mean se low ya actual mean se low. Yahan par formula mein x bar aur y bar ka matlab only actual mean we should take. So these are the regression equations. These regression formulas we have to apply. So again I repeat, before finding out the regression equations of x on y and y on x, we need to calculate regression coefficient. Pahele bxy or byx malum karenge, ye malum karne ke baad, we can be able to apply the formula for regression equations. Now some properties of regression coefficient. Ye regression coefficient jo bxy or byx hai, iske kuch properties hai. The first property, both the regression coefficient must show the same sign. Same sign. अगर b x y positive है, तो b y x भी positive आना must है. अगर b x y negative है, तो b y x भी negative. Both में must show positive और both must show negative. एक positive, एक negative नहीं हो सकता. It should never happen one positive one negative. Both should be positive or both should be negative. अगर दोनों positive है तो correlation coefficient will also be positive. R. अगर b x y positive अगर है तो b y x भी positive होगा और r का value भी positive लेंगे. If both regression coefficients are negative, then r will also be negative. That, that is one property. Second property, if one of the regression coefficient is more than one, the other regression coefficient must be less than one. Agar one se zyada hai, more than unity agar hai, to the other coefficient, for example, if bxy is 2.5, then byx should be 0. Point. Agar b, 2 point, bxy 2.5 aara, or byx 1.5 agar aara, to that means our calculations are wrong. दोनों भी वन से बड़े नहीं हो सकते एक अगर वन से बड़ा हो गया तो दूसरा वन से कम रहना या दोनों भी वन से कम रह सकते इट मे इट इज पॉसिबल दट बोथ द रिग्रेशन को लेस देन वन और इफ वन इज मोर देन वन द अदर शुड बी लेस देन वन बट बोथ रिग्रेशन को एफिशियंट कैन नेवर बी मोर देन वन मोर देन वन थर्ड नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी इज इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई द रिग्रेशन को एफिशियंट एंड पुट इट अंडर रूट यू विल गेट Correlation coefficient. अगर b x y और b y x into b y x दोनों को multiply करके under root कर देंगे. If you multiply both the regression coefficient and put it under root, you will get the value of r. R means correlation coefficient. तो correlation coefficient मालूम करने का formula b x y into b y x under root. These are the properties of regression coefficient, regression equation. कोएफिशिएंट सॉरी तो जब भी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर रहे हैं तो ये कंसीडर ये माइंड में रखना कि दोनों भी पॉजिटिव रहना या दोनों भी नेगेटिव रहना एक पॉजिटिव एक कोई नेगेटिव नहीं हो सकता अगर आपको आ रहा तो हमारे कैलकुलेशंस रॉन्ग है उसी तरह एक वैल्यू अगर 1 या 1 से बड़ा है तो दूसरा वैल्यू 1 से कम रहना दोनों भी 1 से बड़े नहीं रहना हां दोनों भी 1 से कम रह सकते उसी तरह दोनों को मल्टीप्लाई bxy और bys को मल्टीप्लाई करके अंडर रूट कर देंगे तो वी विल गेट the correlation coefficient R value. That's all. So this is the theory regarding the regression analysis. So hope you understood the concept. 
regression means regression analysis is a statistical technique which is concerned with finding out the functional relationship or average relationship between two variables it will be used for prediction purpose the two variables will be one dependent one independent so we can find out the dependent variable for any given value of the independent variable जो इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल दे दिया तो हम डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल वालों में कर सकते हैं एग्जाम्पल एडवर्टाइजमेंट इज इंडिपेंडेंट एंड सेल्स आर डिपेंडेंट वी कैन प्रोडिक्ट सेल्स फॉर एनी गिवन वैल्यू ऑफ एडवर्टाइजमेंट सिमिलरली इन केस ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड प्रोडक्शन एंड रेनफॉल रेनफॉल इज इंडिपेंडेंट एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन इज डिपेंडेंट तो वी कैन फाइंड आउट एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन फॉर ए गिवन अमाउंट ऑफ रेनफॉल दिस आर कॉल रिग्रेशन एनालिसिस सो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द थियोरिटिकल पार्ट Inshallah, in the next video, we'll start the problems on regression analysis. So, if you like my lecture, please share it in your groups. And if you have not subscribed till now, please subscribe my channel. I want that more and more students can be benefited from my channel. So, next uh, video, I'll uh, start the problems on regression analysis. <laughs>